Surah 64 Al-Taghabun Mutual Gains and Losses In the name of Allah, the Most Merciful, the Most Compassionate. All that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth extols Allah's glory. His is the sovereignty and to Him is all praise due. He has power over everything. He it is who has created you. And among you are those that deny the truth and among you are those that believe in it. Allah observes all that you do. He created the heavens and the earth with truth and shaped you, giving you excellent shapes, and to Him is your ultimate return. He knows what is in the heavens and the earth, and knows what you conceal and what you disclose. Allah even knows what lies hidden in the breasts of people. Has the news of the unbelievers of the past not reached you? They disbelieved and then tasted its evil consequence. A grievous chastisement awaits them. This was because their messengers would come to them with clear signs, but they would say, Shall mortals like ourselves guide us to the right way? They rejected the truth and turned away. Thereupon Allah became unconcerned with them, for Allah is self-sufficient, innately praiseworthy. The unbelievers have vehemently contended that they shall not be raised to life. Say to them, Yes, by my Lord, you shall surely be raised to life, and you shall certainly be fully informed of all that you did. That is easy enough for Allah. So believe in Allah and in His Messenger and in the light that we have sent down. Allah is fully aware of what you do. You shall come to know that when He will assemble you on the day of gathering. That shall be the day to determine mutual gains and losses. Whoever believes in Allah and acts righteously, Allah will have his evil deeds expunged and will admit him to gardens beneath which rivers flow. Therein they shall abide forever. That is the supreme triumph. As for those who disbelieved and gave the lie to our signs, they shall be the inmates of the fire and will abide in it. That is a woeful resort. No misfortune ever befalls unless it be by Allah's leave, and whosoever has faith in Allah, Allah directs his heart along the right path. Allah has knowledge of everything. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. But if you turn away from obedience, then know that our Messenger has no other duty than to clearly convey the truth. Allah, there is no God but He. In Allah should the believers put all their trust. Believers, there are enemies to you from among your spouses and your offspring, so beware of them. But if you forgive and overlook their offenses and pardon them, then surely Allah is most forgiving, most compassionate. Your possessions and your offspring are nothing but a trial for you, and there awaits a great reward for you with Allah. So hold Allah in awe as much as you can, and listen and obey and be charitable. This is for your own good, and whoever remains safe from his own greediness, it is such that will prosper. If you give Allah a goodly loan, He will increase it for you several fold and will forgive you. Allah is most appreciative, most forbearing. He knows that which is beyond the ken of perception, as well as that which can be perceived. He is the most mighty, the most wise.